Welcome to starting lineup for week 16. Plenty to get to on today's show, but first, Andrew needs to gloat. I do need to gloat. He did it to me. 62-51 Mira's French Licks over Newborn FC. Jason, you're full of excuses, but I got the win. All right, we were a lot more Newborn than FC this week. All right, let's get to some of the tips that we have for you guys, and starting with this. Remember that the U.S. Open Cup games played on Wednesday night and, of course, on Thursday are going to factor into the weekend, especially when you look at FC Dallas. They played all starters against the Houston Dynamo. How will that factor into their road game at Portland? Could be a boost for Portland in this fantasy week. Another thing to look at, injuries. Chris Pontius likely out for this weekend. But I will say this, if you have Chris Pontius on your fantasy team, you're probably struggling anyway because DC United is not scoring a lot of goals. Andrew, a lot of questions rolling in, though, about Gold Cup and a lot of MLS players in the mix. What do people need to know? Well, you're going to miss some guys in this one. We'll start with the U.S. The big thing with this, I think, is that the senior national guys, the guys with the team right now for these World Cup qualifiers, likely are not going to be among that group. The guys like Eddie Johnson, Matt Beasler, Brad Davis, Graham Zussi, those guys will probably be back with their clubs. You're good to go there. It's the ones on the other side. You're Jack McInerney's, perhaps uh, Nick Romando starting in goal. Will Bruin, those are the guys you need to look out for. So really pay attention to when that final roster comes out and make moves accordingly. All right, you should have about two weeks until that happens, maybe even three weeks of MLS games with those players before they head into that camp. Now, let's get to the questions that were sent in. We're going to start with this one. A lot of people filling up with people on the double week. Remember, four teams have a double week this week, and then using their wild card next week. Is this a good week to do that? Yeah, I think it is a good week to do that. You need to set yourself up. The other thing to remember, though, that next double week, that's during that 21 through 25 round period where you have to use your second wild card. There's no other time to use it, so that's the time to do that. But remember, there are five double weeks left. That's important to remember. You may want to save that wild card if you feel like you're set up for now. Make sure you go into the playoffs with a strong team. Okay, so if you do use your wild card, we were asked, what is your ideal team? To keep this from being a two-hour episode of starting lineup, we're just going to give you a free, few must-have players for this week. Yeah, for me, it's easy. Marco DeVaio in Montreal is one. Kenny Miller, now starting again for the Vancouver Whitecaps, is number two. Then Chris Clute, Colorado, that defensive back, he is doing very, very good right now on the flanks. He's one to pick up as well. All right, and I'll stay in Colorado and say Clint Irwin, the same uh, reasoning that he would go with Clute. Diego Valeri, I mentioned Portland, having a good schedule this week. He's pulling all the strings there. I would definitely have him on your team. And then Camilo, he's hot right now for Vancouver. No matter what the results are for Vancouver on the field, Camilo has been scoring goals for them. You can get him in your lineup and feel good about it. Another question came in, and this one on DeVaio, who you mentioned. Is he going to play both games, and should he be wearing the captain's armband? Yeah, he's going to wear the captain's armband for me, and I expect him to play both games. Perhaps not 180 minutes, but if we look back to round 11, this scenario happened. Road game on Wednesday, back at home. He played 24 minutes in the first one against the Red Bulls, got a goal, got another goal in that second game. I think he plays both games, especially considering they were off last weekend. Another captain question and another question about a guy you just mentioned. Chris Clute as your captain. Very interesting, a little risky potentially. Yeah, I think this guy's flown under the radar, but you look at his past five games, six points, 11 points, two points, and then two nine-point performances, three clean sheets, two assists. He's getting it done right now. I would not give him the captain's armband, maybe a little bit too risky, but I took a four-point deduction to get him in my team. I think he is a great play. Look, it depends on who, who's on your team, but he could be a guy that you want to captain, high risk, high reward maybe. Uh, another question coming in about Clint Irwin. This kind of all goes together on Colorado Colorado's schedule this week. I have Drew Moore on my team. I did want to pick up a Colorado defender. Uh, they right now, they have a home game against San Jose, and San Jose is a team that has struggled on the road as of late. Of course, the coaching change, we don't know how they're going to play. And then their other game at Chicago, and really, how good is Chicago's offense right now? They've gotten better with Mike McGee, but are they a team that you're really afraid of? No, I don't think so. You're not going to expect Mike McGee to get a goal every week. That's not going to happen. It's going to be a matter of time when Chris Rolfe, Patrick Nyarko, maybe Sheridan McDonald, can those guys get going. What we do know is San Jose is downright awful on the road recently. Outscored 9-0 to zero in their past four games, so that's a good bet for a shutout. Next question, Michael Weller says, I can't resist Vancouver's schedule right now. Give me a midfielder and a defender to take for them. Well, we've said it many times. This team is a fantasy wasteland. There's not a lot to choose from. Once again, though, 
Young Pyo Lee is going to be my recommendation as a defender. Perhaps Jordan Harvey, he's had a few good weeks now, probably going to be that left back. And then in the midfield, Russell Tybert is your man. He is cheap. He is now playing really for them, and he is getting assists at a pretty good clip. Yeah, he's taking free kicks for them, which usually adds to your attacking bonus throughout the course of a game. Uh, and as far as the wasteland of Vancouver, it's fantasy-related, not yeah, necessarily yeah. MLS-related, and it's just because of the inconsistency in their lineup. And speaking of that, the next question is, do you think Darren Maddox will start both games for the Whitecaps now that he's back from international duty? Who knows, Andrew, but most likely, no. Well, I don't know, but I would say no chance right now. I think that Martin Rennie is going to stick with that three-man front line he's had in their past two games. Kenny Miller in the middle, Tybert on the right, and then Camilo on the left. They've been pretty productive. They're starting to gel. I think those are the three guys that you'll see. All right, next question uh, again about Vancouver since they have a double week. A lot of questions about them. If you had to pick one, Russell Tybert or Camilo? Well, I'm going to pick Camilo. He is the possibility to get you goals as well as assists. I think Russell Tybert also a great play. If you have the cap room, go Camilo. If you need a bargain, Russell Tybert's probably your man. All right, this is an interesting question. Are there any guys who have a single game this week that you would take over guys who have a double week? Let me think. No, there's none that I would take. I think Robbie Keane maybe is your lone option there. Back from international duty, always productive. Alongside uh, Landon Donovan, he would maybe be my one. Yeah, I mean, Landon Donovan for me would be the other guy again, combining with Keane. Uh, if you can get them in your lineup, a lot of the big stars either aren't playing this week or they're gone with national teams. So those double weeks are important. Moving on, last question. With San Jose in turmoil right now, is it time to drop Sam Cronin? Yeah, I think it's time to drop Sam Cronin. I think you can just use that cap space better. He had that one week with 11 points, a massive week, but apart from that, he averages three and a half per game. You're not going to get big production from Sam Cronin. There are guys out there in that same bracket that have the potential for assists, goals, bigger weeks. All right, enjoy the games this weekend and, of course, on Wednesday night of next weekend. Good luck in your fantasy week 16. Andrew and I will be back next Thursday with plenty more on the starting lineup.